My friends and fellow parishioners of St. Christopher, I'm speaking to you to bring some updates and to thank you for your understanding and prayer during these days. We certainly find ourselves as a church and society in uncharted territory. The seminary certainly did not prepare priests to deal with these kinds of challenges. That being said, our diocese, as well as government officials, have done their best to communicate some direction for us to take. I want to clarify that all Masses are canceled up to and including Easter Sunday. This includes all Holy Week services. Our school and PSR program have suspended classes. CYO has canceled all practices and games during this time. All other activities and events here at the parish have been canceled as well. I feel as though I've been laid off from my job. During this time, we are thoroughly cleaning all of our buildings, and they will remain closed. This includes our church building, which is being cleaned thoroughly and will also remain closed. We are also working on being able to video and provide for you the Sunday Mass online. This is something we have been hoping to do, and this chain of events is giving us the opportunity to hopefully make it happen. Please watch our website, stchrisparish.com, for the latest update on our progress, as well as how to find the link to see the video. We will also email or by way of constant contact, send information to all of our parishioners whose addresses we have. The parish office will be open, although the hours may be flexible at times. We discourage foot traffic, and we encourage your communication with the office by phone or by email. We will do our best to respond in a timely manner. In the event of an emergency, such as a request for an anointing for someone who is near death, or to report a death and arrange for a funeral, please call the parish office, 440-331-4255, and follow the prompts for the emergency line. Speaking of funerals, we will certainly assist families experiencing the death of a loved one. We will deal with these in a case-by-case -case basis. We would encourage some very simple service for a family with a burial and then perhaps a memorial mass at a later time. But we again will deal with families who are in need of a funeral on a case-by-case -case basis. Again, I thank you for your patience and understanding during these most unusual days in the life of the church and in the life of our society. May we continue to pray for one another. And may God bless us. May he bless us, everyone. Thank you.